Yeah, it, it is a mess and there's a lot of uncertainty still around what's going on in, in the UK. Uh, it's not really been clear for some time exactly which path, uh, which path the UK will go down towards uh, Brexit. Is there, a, is there a deal, no deal, crashing out? Uh, do they go to another referendum? You know, from our perspective, we're actually not trying to guess what's going to happen, not trying to you know, predict that. We, we look at the UK and Europe actually through a slightly longer lens and we think there's a broader demographic and structural and uh, political issues that have been playing out for some time now. Uh, it's got us to where we are and the result has been broad underperformance of, of the equity market in, in the Europe and the UK over the last decade. And from our perspective, we've reacted to that by reducing exposure uh, to both the UK and Europe, and, and that's, a, that's a stance that we're looking to maintain through this entire episode. So uncertainty continuing, of course, across the UK and the Eurozone, at least for the moment, a high degree of, of uncertainty. But what about the US-China trade spat? How's that weighing on your strategy? Yeah, I mean, we think that a, a deal of some sort around trade, uh, an immediate deal or a near-term deal is likely that will you know, at, at the very least prevent further tariffs being implemented. We don't think that the existing tariff levels are likely to be rolled back. Uh, the US hasn't rolled back tariffs through this administration and, and we don't think that's likely to happen with, uh, with China. But, uh, but the reality is there's broader structural issues around that relationship between US and China that are likely to persist. They're likely to persist for some time, and I'm talking here years, and I think we'll continue to see uh, negotiations and discussions around how that, uh, how that plays out. In the near term, uh, the markets have moved towards pricing in a near-term deal, we think, and, and that's pushed equities up to a level that look, in, in our view, slightly stretched uh, in, in valuation terms, and, uh, and we think that there's a possibility of a further pause. And, and the data that we saw this morning sort of point mm. towards that, that the growth is slowing in a secular sense. It's slowing from a long-term point of view, but there's also some weakness there in the, in, the, in the near term that is not just reflective of the trade negotiations. Hey, everybody. It's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.